we had a caller last week, a fella that called in Young Buck, and he was having issues. He was doing dominoes and delivering um, hot pie. And we've all had it. You know, we've all had a little bit of dominoes. And Oh, and one thing, I don't know if you knew this about dominoes. Somebody sent me this DM the other day and uh, told me this, but Domino's Pizza used to have a character called the Noid. And that's not a racial slur or anything. That's a, um, it's like a cartoon. It was like a dirty cartoon boy that, you know, was sneaky and was kind of Italian. I, I don't, I think he wanted to be Italian. It was like a wannabe Italian, and he would attack. Um, he he, on the commercial for Domino's, this character, the Noid, N O I D. And again, that's not any type of a race thing. It is a, that's what they called him. He would attack the uh, delivery people or something. He would mess up the order. And so the pizza was going to get there late. But Domino's, they said that we guarantee that won't happen. Your pizza will be there in 30 minutes. And you got to understand, this was unprecedented. For somebody to say from the time you call our shop, 30 minutes later, we're going to have food at your doorstep. Dog, that's gangster, dog. Postmates don't even guarantee that shit. Postmates don't guarantee. Postmates say it could be now, could be 70 minutes. Dude, I had a lady one time, she was driving it over, got hit, got in an accident, got taken off in an uh, ambulance. My shit said like three hours. Because she'd been at the hospital for so long. It had gone up to three hours. This lady had not dropped off my Carl's Juniors. And this, I don't know if she died or what, bro. But that shit, you know. I mean, it's a risky game out there when you're peddling goods like that. But let me tell you about this. The Noid was this little character. And it was big. He had a video game. He had big stuff. And Domino's blew it up at that moment. They had pizza in 30 minutes. What? So the Noid, though, uh, there was a guy. Let me tell you what happened. So the Noid. Here's what happened. On January 30th, 1989, Kenneth Lamar Noid, a mentally ill man, who thought the ad campaign was a personal attack on him, entered a Domino's restaurant in Chambly, Georgia, armed with a 357. Gang, bro. So you know this shit ain't gonna end well. And he held two employees hostage for over five hours. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine, first of all, you freaking working at Domino's, and then second of all, the dude rolls up with a 357? And held you hostage. Actually, probably it's probably best because you're still on the clock and you don't, you can't make any pies. I mean, I guess you could, but the guy might get pissed. I guess it's up to him. It doesn't say if he ordered any pies or not. It just says he held two employees hostage for over five hours. After telling the employees that Domino's owner, Tom Monahan, had stolen his name because his last name was Noid, N-O-I-D, he forced them to call Domino's headquarters and demand a hundred grand and a white limousine as getaway transportation. What an idiot, bro. You know how hard it is to hide in a white in a white limousine? Very hard, bro. Unless you hide it like a I don't even know where you'd hide. Like in a milk fat like in a milk area. Um after offering to exchange one hostage for a copy of The Widow's Son, which I get is some book, the Noid reneged on his offer after a police brought him the book. Noid eventually became hungry and forced the employees to make him two special pizzas. Fah! Respect, man. Respect. While Noid ate the pizzas with his gun in his lap, the hostages escaped. Noid surrendered to the police shortly after. After the incident, police chief Reed Miller told reporters he's paranoid. Noid was charged with kidnapping, aggravated assault. Uh, it doesn't say he fucking assaulted him. Extortion and possession of a firearm during a crime. I wouldn't call going to Domino's a crime. That's, 
kind of judgmental. He was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Gang, bro. No, he spent time in a mental institution but committed suicide in 1995. Damn. This incident has been insinuated to have caused Domino's Pizza to discontinue advertising using the Noid as their mascot. Wow. So there you go. That's everything that happened with the Noid. And thank you to the young man that sent me. He sent me a DM and told me that. Uh, what else, man? What else have I been doing, dude? Nada. Doing nada. Same thing you've been doing. Good evening, good afternoon, and other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!